Hey, hey everyone, welcome back. We're we playing this, the newest Nancy Drew game, actually. So we played one of the very, very early ones in the series, somewhere like around six, I think, like less than 10. And now we're gonna be playing the newest one, Midnight in Salem. I'm super excited, this came out like last year. It's gonna look drastically different. I've never played this, let me see. Subtitles on, tutorial. We'll probably keep that on. I've never, like I said, I've never played, so let's just, let's get into it. Amateur sleuth or master sleuth? I don't know. I think I'm still an amateur. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> I haven't done this one. I've only ever played two Nancy Drew games. Drastically yeah. different. <laughs> has been wonderful so far. Nancy's That's different awesome. too. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here. The Book of Apologies which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good scares and mysteries. Ever yours, Nancy. Ooh. I'm wondering if this is point and click as well or if I use the keyboard at all I know that's controller support but Are you coming in? Uh -huh. uh, that's all right Miss Drew I prefer to stay out here why it's so warm and inviting in here <laughs> um yes I'm glad you're enjoying yourself all of Judge Sewell's effects are there just as your father requested although I will tell you as I told him the desk is locked I don't have the key, but I will gladly stay to answer any questions you have. The book. From the other side of this door. What is this clanking? I recommend opening the window for some light. There's no electricity here. Well, in that room at least. Okay. Click to move. We'll go to the window. Open for some light. Oh, much better. Wonderful view. Hold the right mouse to look around, but click on the screen's edges to turn. Wait, can I do anything over oh, here? This stuff looks very old. Like an old chest. But it won't open. But that's not really important right now. Come on. This is very different from the old game. I have a not notification on my phone. Gives me chills Ooh. Yes. Guys, we got a new phone. <laughs> a camera. It was written in 1487 by a man whose name I won't even bother to mention because he used bunk science to send hundreds, if not thousands, of people mm. to their deaths. Facts. The judge should act as follows in the continuation of the torture. First, he should bear in mind that just as the same medicine is not applicable to all the members, but there are various and distinct salves for each sev several member. So not all heretics or those accused of heresy are to be subjected to the same method of questioning, examination, and torture as to the charges laid against them. But various and different means are to be employed according to their various natures and persons. Now a surgeon cuts off rotten limbs and mangy sheep are isolated from the healthy, but a prudent judge will not consider it safe to bind himself down to one invariable rule in his method of dealing with a prisoner who is endowed with a witch's power of taciturnity <laughs> Whoops. and whose silence he is unable to overcome. For if the sons of darkness were to be, uh, become accustomed to one general rule, they would provide means of evading it as a well-known snare of destruction. Oh, oh, well, that would have been easier to read, but, huh, okay. So, can I take it, or do I just leave? Check the phone. Find the book of apologies. Look, I got freaking text messages on this, guys. I can call, I can text, I've got photos. I can take pictures. Brother, I love it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. 
Whoa, 360. Oh, I can go to the desk. Oh. So that's not the Book of Apologies. This alleged book? Your father didn't tell you? It was a ledger containing all the names of the accused witches from the Salem witch trials. Judge Sewell had doubts about his convictions, and he wrote the book as a means to make amends. Allegedly. Yes. Oh, there's my cat. So you can hear him digging in the litter box. So this desk is giving me mad um, national treasure vibes. Look, we've got a little button to press. Kind of. Maybe we have to interact. Hold to look. Oh no, hold right to look. What the? This is so crazy different. Something... I don't... What am I supposed to do? Can I back... Okay. Let's look at this I paper. Found letter. It's addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do oh, there's scratches over here. That's a clue, guys. I have been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit is too great to determine a conviction just. He asks for her forgiveness and for God's. Oh, this is cool, how it will tell me. Okay. Do you regret to write to you in the state I've been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. Relentlessly I, have I cried for his mercy, longing for his light to bathe my conscience clean. Oh, uh, I killed, like, thousands of women for no reason, so, um, God, please forgive me. I'm sad. Okay. Two of our daughters have perished. Oh, and it's not even because he actually feels bad. It's because he thinks God's punishing him. My wife's mother as well, and our latest child did not draw breath, breath when born. I must pretend, uh, Jesus Christ, I must repent, lest my children forever be held in anger and contempt by our father. I'm writing a book from a book of apologies to be worthy of his mercy. I'm traveling the world to note down all the names of those wrongfully accused of witchcraft. My guilt allows me to not ask for forgiveness, though now my soul, though now that my, oh jeez. Though know that my soul remains forever tortured by the knowledge of what I have done. <sighs> oh wait, I can rotate the message. Anything on the back? I think we might have to put some lemon juice and heat on this national treasure. Get it? See the scratches? This has to pull out. Yep, it found the key. Right click mouse button on inventory item to inspect it. Bruh, I knew it. That's easy. They're telling me none of them- What the? None of them were able to find the key. Except for me. Where's the- Where's the lock? Oh, there it is. You gotta push it. What a <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's get into it. Guys, I'm not good at mazes. Oh, this isn't hard, actually. I'm just a little dumb. Easy. Yup, easy. Now, what's... I found it. It's here. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that hard, actually. What's going on here? It's locked. Okay, you're not gonna pick it up? It's locked. I don't know why you wouldn't just pick it. The book of okay, I get it. I get it. Am I supposed to leave now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is interesting. Nancy, this way. Which way? Where is that? Dr. Hurst? It's, it's like foggy. Oh, I'm gonna get a phone call? Who calling? Deirdre. 
call you back. I'm in the middle of... Listen, I know we haven't exactly been besties in the past, but I'm in the middle of something big, and I... Deirdre, I have to call you back. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me. Elizabeth? <laughs> Elizabeth! Bye! <gasps> no! What are you doing? That's what I'm saying. Why didn't you just take the freaking book? What? Nancy. Now I've got to run. Oh, or not. Stop. Beautiful trees. Stop running. Let's think about how, like, different the world is, too, compared to the last Nancy Drew we played. I don't know if I'm supposed to be choosing directions or just clicking. There he is. And we have to narrate, of course. Just jump him. Freaking Deirdre! What's with the smoke bombs? Here's some clues. Yeah, that's why I'm... So, he left the key. Oh, he... That's a different key? So, a ticket... From Vienna to Boston. Well, that makes sense to get to Salem. So this must be his ticket home. But his name is gone. A ticket to Boston. This canister looks to have been used as a homemade smoke bomb. Clearly. Oh my gosh. Can we just answer this call? What is it? You know where I am right now? Salem. Salem? As in witch trial Salem? Obvi. Come on, Drew. My cousin has... Well, she's gotten into some trouble here. And I thought I could help her out. But it turns out this situation is much more complicated than I anticipated. So now, I'm calling you to ask for some... Guidance. You want my help? Oh, yes. Don't make this more painful. I could use your professional opinion, okay? Well, it so happens that the case I'm on is connected to Boston, which is just nearby Salem. And I was never a big believer in coincidences. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? I'd love to. Seriously? I thought I had reached a dead end. But it looks like I have to go to Massachusetts anyway. In any case, mm -hmm. a fresh perspective would do me good. Ugh, you're already annoying me, and you're not even here yet. <laughs> you're welcome. I think it might even be fun. Oh, this is so the worst idea I've ever had. I'll pick you up from the airport. I'm wondering if Na All Nancy Drew takes place in New England. Because so we're in Salem. I've been here. At least once. I appreciate you coming here, Drew. I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Keep the excessive... Jeez, this is so different. I mean, this came out in 2019, I think. Where were you, by the way? Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? Yes, I did. And that's it. A fire. Oh no. Anyone hurt? Happened. Beautiful building. No one was there. The house wasn't completely destroyed, but the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're pretty. Clear, this is my case. I know you're a detective and everything, but this is personal. It's family. Well, extended. And from my father's side. But whatever, that's not the point. Bro, that's family. It's personal. You take my lead. Okay? I don't think Nancy does that. Of course. But? Well, I have done this a couple of times, dear. <laughs> like, 40. <laughs> we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience and whatever. But family trumps experience. It's sensitive, and I don't want you messing it up by being too... Too what? Too you. You're a question machine. 
This requires gentle handling. Delicate. <laughs> and that's been your approach. Well, like I say, I need help. Time to mix things so, up. Can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. Truth. All right. Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P-A-R-R-Y. Oh, like in fencing. Yes. Tegan is the older one. May is younger. They've... They had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected oh my. of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. Hmm. What can you tell me? Just learn about May. She has a reputation as a troublemaker. It seems like a loner to me. Maybe a bit odd at times. Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff. <laughs> difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. Hmm. That's the problem. How old is she, though? Everyone they just said so she's the younger sister. Prejudice, I guess. Because of... Well, you'll see. Sounds like we should talk to her soon. Where do you think we're going? She's got attitude. <laughs> kind of like her, though. She's worried about May, obviously. Tegan isn't like May. She's... Upstanding. She works at the Salem Museum and doesn't know a thing about criminal cases. Which is why she contacted me. Okay. One more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called the Hathorne House. And it's old. Mm. Like, really old. And now it's been set on fire. Nothing else significant about it? Well, yeah. A lot of things. But one that's... Uh, that's kind of why you're here. Which is why? The Hathorne House... Is haunted. Of course. We are in Salem after all. Here we go. Oh, I love this house. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. What do you mean haunted. Exactly that. There's like the, the jack o' lantern in the sidewalk. I don't believe it Get out of the car, me. Nancy. But seems to think they exist with so many sightings even if it isn't real ghosts something is definitely going on i thought that maybe you can disprove that so would you please get out of my car and come inside gotcha b let's go if we're going to oh i love these like my side, um Little bump, I, I don't know what they're called, bump outs, like on houses. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. Hello, Tegan. She's pretty. Why do they have like the same style of hair? You know, you live in the same neighborhood for 20 years, and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Tegan, why did she say it like that? Although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so while they're not convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be home soon. But how old are y'all? A very how old am I? Is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch. I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got. Does she like practice witchcraft or something? Well, you know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily in that sense. I'm sorry. Are you hungry? There's clam chowder. <laughs> Classic. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with May. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here. Yeah, of course. Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Oh, I'll get suckered into it. Is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. 
I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time ago. Look, I'm sorry. I think that's the whole point of Salem right now. Like, all the tourism is about witches and ghosts. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would really help. Of course, I have time for one question, if it'll help. Um, let's meet May. Do you mind introducing me to May? Sure. What do you want to ask her? What, what do you mean, what do I want to ask her? What she was I want to talk about the fire. Isn't that why I'm here? Look, May hasn't had an easy life, okay? Not easy in what way? I don't want to be insensitive. I'm just trying right, to... Look at her face! ...be seen as a suspect because of her past. An accident happened when she was younger, and you might want to ask about it when you see her. Don't. You'll only upset her. She's not very forthcoming with strangers. Oh. People tend to judge on appearances. Okay. Understand? I understand completely. So she trusts you, right? Yes. So did she tell you what she was doing on that night? No, but she's innocent. I know. Okay. But how do you know? She's my sister. I just know, all right? <laughs> Sorry. Things have been stressful around here. I really do appreciate your help. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm still here. I want to go talk to May. Oh, this kitchen. I want to live here. Oh. Jerk. Keegan said you've been in town for days. There she you is. I know, I know, I know. Why does everyone have the same hairstyle? The, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? She's also, like, skating. Um, Style. Finally visit me. Um, oh, this is the girl I was telling you about, Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Bye. Oh, she really doesn't want to talk. This could be different. I like the backpack. That's Any cute. Hmm. This house is just so pretty. I'll be in the kitchen. Kind of want to just explore. Oh, look at it! I'm sorry, I'm simping over this kitchen. But dang, is it gorgeous! Okay, let's go see if we can talk to her. Um, nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. Do you mind if I look around the house? Oh, you're so weird. Yeah, okay. As I suspected, you can kind of see, I think she, like suffered a burn when she was younger hi i didn't mean I'm to talk to her again okay. you didn't say anything but i think she probably got burned like she maybe accidentally started a fire convertible. It looks strikingly familiar does it Deirdre's convertible. oh my gosh um rust be gone now that's handy never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. True. So we're just gonna steal their rust be gone. Hiking the Patagonian Highlands. If their Outlast parents are travelers. Survival guide for the rainforest in Myanmar. The Perrys have a real taste for adventure. Can I look at this book since it's open? No, I guess not. Let's go take a look upstairs. We'll go, like, search her room. Oh my. Oh my, this is weird. Okay, so that's May's. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're going in here. It's really wants me to. Oh, this must be the guest room. Oh, that's cute. Is that my suitcase? Oh, what's this? Talk to Tegan in the museum. Talk to Judge Danforth. The judge thought he's dead. Hey, Nance, how's it going? And a few friends. Aww. Following him back to the U.S. I mean, I didn't technically follow him. I I went with, because my friend asked me to. Huh. Okay. Can I can I go into her room? I 
probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Okay, I guess not. New England riot. Can I go into this room? Oops, wrong door. The guest room is at the. Okay, I guess not. Let's just go down. Let's just go to the. Deirdre would be upset if oh my gosh. She's waiting. <sighs> okay, I did not understand. Let's go talk to Deirdre. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. This is interesting. What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So, hmm. I went to check out the Hathorn house myself. But I never went inside. I want to go in. A ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. Oh, cracking my neck. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. You have to I talk to him. Office. But he kind of never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well. But enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right. Are we going into town or what? Yeah, sure. that's why I'm he here. something by burning down a house. Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in hmm. your experience, it's usually something much more personal. Truth. This tour sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't hmm. have to investigate everything, Drew. Yeah, I do. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. I mean, we can do... So can we go now? Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. Well, I don't understand. Am I supposed to go out the door now? Okay, that was really weird. <gasps> Ned! Hi! Ned, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry, I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself. Are those sirens in the back? Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, time doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which... Hey, do I get paid for this? Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nan. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. What the? That was... What? Can I snoop in their mailbox? Whoa. Just me gliding across to the car. Do I get to pick where I go? Ooh, a protest! Excuse me, I want to go to the protest. Guess I'm going to this. By now, you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died. Why is she dressed like that? Lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. Patricia, witches <laughs> are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery. Magic. Most exist now only in secret. And they may be standing among you even now. 
Yeah. She's very movable. <laughs> what am I saying? Movie? She moves a lot? Um, look familiar to anybody? Pumpkins look kind of real. Hello, speak. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not near. Do I have ginger hair? I still doing here feel the call bureaucracy is for persecutors we don't need permission we don't live by the rules <laughs> anyway what can i help you with hmm have you lived in Salem let's save the biggie for last Windows looking like yes, that. I know her too. Oh, they kind of stopped. For a long time either. Oh, they're going again. Heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl, and sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their own. I don't think she burned down the half worn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. How often do you do this show? Most nights. Busier around Halloween, and I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn House was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police here. What's that supposed to mean? Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good, because I've already spoken with them. So you were here. I was out of town. Did you go out? Oh, know that suspicious. Out of town. Here we go. A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. Bro, you're not a magician. I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise oh you my to gosh. Just one secret about being a witch. Do you really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. Hmm. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. They were living. See, it is intriguing they immediately jumped to arson. Equal parts. Dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. Plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you 
were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, the dark will appear, usually when you least expect it. Hmm. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem. Roll credits. It's the name of the game. Bro, I'm already gonna go. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. T T I L. Candle. Huh. Why am I saying huh to a candle? Road closed. Can I go talk to the protesters, please? A specter may be hanging over Salem. But that doesn't keep the town from getting into the Halloween spirit. That's Halloween spirit. Tour tickets. They the sell the tickets the at the museum. You want to go see him first. Dive into the case. I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Okay, I trust her. Let's go meet the judge. I want to be on her good side go. too. Oh, I just found out my cat's under my desk. Hey Nancy, your trick gave me your number. Sorry, but before us, is this Tegan? I'm, I'm literally at the museum right now. Yeah, I'll stop by. Should I take a picture of Deirdre? Now that's for Insta. Dang, that's cute. Okay. Oh my... Like, I'm confused. Isn't it? Do I have to go in the car? Oh, I just had to go this way? That's so annoying. False judgment, false claim. I can't see the other. I just want to look at the candle that was on the ground. I'll just head in. Um. Judge Danforth, this way. Also, the restrooms. Okay, th this is kind of difficult to control. Ted? Is that you? Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? Yes, and I'm with my friend Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn house. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean... I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office, and I, uh... What? I uh, need some help. How is that even possible? Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just down the hall. I hope she's still here. If she's not, I'll raid her room. Those are the restrooms, probably. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's kind of hard to control. Hello? I don't- I can't- can I just- can I not go in? Bruh. Maybe we can learn something about the town. Might help May's case. Is it not down this hall? Down the other hall? Oh my gosh, she's T-posing out there. Huh. Oh, in this room. Hello, Alicia. Can I help you? Hi. So sorry to bother you at this hour. 
but we're here to meet with Judge Danforth, and he seems to be locked inside his office. He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh, well then, do you have a paper clip? Yeah, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? It's literally not your business. Case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks, but I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. The diploma gave me away, huh? Aside from the cold coffee... Does she have to pee? She's like... Open box of sticky tabs, <laughs> yeah. you could say rocking. Really well. Nancy, Drew, you really are your father's daughter. It's nice to finally meet you. You know my dad? Small world. If you need any assistance or more paper clips, feel funny. Free okay, bye. Time to pick this lock. Bruh, stop. Judge Danforth, I couldn't find your key. What? Uh, Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well, I did find a paper clip. I think I can pick your lock, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. Uh, imagine locking yourself. Whoa! Too much of a challenge. Hold to drag the pin. Feel for the pin that gives resistance. Release when the pin locks in place. Oh, I see. I'm confused. I actually don't understand this at all. They're not... Oh, this is the one that gives resistance. Okay, that's one. Nope. No? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you can hear my cat. No, it... What the heck? Okay, I see. Shoot. Eh. What is he doing? That was actually pretty difficult to figure out. Danger of being cool, which honestly I just don't like. I am cool. Well, that's some bright and cheery in here. Ah, those protesters are up there again, stirring the pot. You know, this town used to be a quiet place. Oh, I'm wondering if there's my controller buzzing. Element that has infiltrated our community. No doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. Now, Nancy, huh. your father and I have discussed. Oh, sorry. I'm not Nancy. Of course you're not. You look nothing like Carson. Did your father ever tell you about the time we won fourth place at the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta? Lake <laughs> Winnipesaukee? At the time I had 2010 I've been there. I was the navigator and... Judge, this is Deirdre Shannon. She's working with me on the case. Deirdre, you're the one who tried to break down my door. Break down? Your honor, that's an exaggeration. I was knocking <laughs> heavily. 
Look, I'm really busy. Dealing with this happening. Talk to us. Uh, being a judge is not as simple as, uh, you know, investigating during your free time. Bruh. Well, you did not just insult me. Our free time to unlock your door. You tell him, Deirdre. I'm sure you'll be willing to repay us with some answers to our questions. Right? <clears throat> yes, of course. I'll lock you in I again, bruh. Okay. The yep. investigation found paint solvent residue okay. on burnt embers, suggesting someone deliberately used Okay, that makes sense. Thankfully, Mrs. Tuttle never had to see what became of her home. Why is she dead? And what evidence do you have that May Perry is the one responsible for this? Evidence? Have you ever heard of recidivism? No. Three out of four criminals in the United States are repeat offenders. And there's only one person in all of Salem has a history of fire related crime. So One, I doubt that, and two, yeah, that's yeah. not evidence. You don't need evidence. She's already been convicted in the court of public opinion. Is that what she said? No, I'm saying it. She has a history yeah. with this sort of thing. What's May's motive? What does she gain by burning down the Hathorn house? You'd have to ask her, and while you're at it, you can ask about her alibi. Which she refused to give to the police. So Maybe because y'all are annoying. Yeah, I I got another one. I see this ancient TV. Built by Judge John Hathorn during the 1600s. Uh, pardon. Represented the oldest surviving structure from that era. Judge Hathorn, of course, was one of the three judges that presided over the Salem witch trial. Yes, and I'm sure we can read all about the home's history in Salem's Museum. More recently, Francis Tuttle, Judge Hathorne's last direct descendant, Judge Hathorne, a small section of the house while the rest was left to fall into considerable disrepair. She was alone, except for a part-time caregiver, Lauren Port, who had a bedroom in the carriage house. Hmm. <clears throat> a few months ago, Francis Tuttle... Wait, so who lived there? Which left Hathorn House without a legal heir. According to the historical statutes of Salem, after 90 days, the house reverts to public property. The deadline. Okay. <laughs> at midnight. All right. I get it. So, Let's stay on topic here. Pass away exactly? The woman was 88 years old. The coroner confirmed her death was of natural causes. So they never investigated Lauren Holt. You need the suspicion of foul play to investigate someone, young lady. We'd like to speak with her all the same. She still lives on the estate, although for how much longer we do not know. Comic, why are you chirping? Shop, luminous infusions. She luminous infusions? <laughs> I wonder what they sell there. So the book of apologies. Why did you really need it? <clears throat> yes, and first of all, I'm so glad you're all right. Nasty business. Had I known you were going to be put in harm's way, I would have never called Carson and asked for his help. I've done plenty of work for my father. Trust me. I can Ooh, myself. that was yes. my elbow that cracked so that time. So I've already heard some stories, but would you mind giving me your version of why the book is important? Yes. So, Judge Sewell was rumored to keep a ledger of all the accused intending to publish it to reconcile with their families and clear their names. But he passed away before he could do so. Going to Austria for a rumored book seems like a heck of a long shot. <laughs> well, I have been under some pressure from the A.W. group. A.W. as in accused witches. Oh. Don't you think it's dangerous? Throwing around May's name as a suspect before any evidence links her to the crime. I think it what is. What do you mean? What are you saying? From what you've described, there is no evidence against May. Yet you were saying that she did it. I just... As a judge, I think you would be the first to admit He's that... He's prejudiced. It is not just me, Miss Drew. There are plenty of people who believe that May is responsible for this crime. Maybe you're in a position of power. You can't spread misinformation like that. Actually, that is the definition of prejudice. 
I'm not going to have this debate with This guy's a judge. Anything else. What a weenie. Talk to you later. To do well. Before you go, there is something else I need your help with. You're not locked out of your car, are you? Oh no. <clears throat> there was a there was an incident. Oh my. Someone broke into the evidence room. Oh. Have you called the police? Well, no. Not yet. I don't think anything was taken. Never mind. I'll, I'll call the police. Thank you for your time. Okay. Later. Let's, um... Let's see these doors. Can I go? No? Alright, let's leave, I guess. Oh my goodness. Can y'all believe it's almost Halloween? I've been doing all these fun Halloween games, and I just started this new one, so I gave you this really nice long introduction, almost an hour, holy crap. Um, the next ones will probably be shorter, and they'll definitely be more dispersed. School has definitely been catching up to me, and I'm not going to be able to put out three videos a week like I have been, but I'm going to try to do at least one per week, maybe two if I can find the time. But I really do appreciate everyone watching. Um, and this game is pretty fun so far. It has its challenges, but it's pretty fun so far, and I'm super excited to continue playing and sharing it with you. Bye-bye!